the most popular AI agent auto blogging just got a major update. We can now generate articles of up to 4,000 words for all of your chosen keywords. Let me show you how to do it. If you're completely new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. This is a web app that we're building together based on all of your feedback and suggestions. You're gonna enter your name, an email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It is going to drop you onto the settings page. Now we integrate with multiple platforms right now. We have 10 with more being added each week. But if you want to use the auto blogging AI agent, we're gonna to need to hook up your blog. So that works for either Blogger, Medium.com, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. I have videos throughout the channel on how to integrate with each of these platforms. But also if you click on one, let's say WordPress.org, there are quick tutorials right here. In this video, I'm going to do Medium.com. So let's click on this. Then we need to name our medium.com connection within your AI agent. I'm gonna call it my medium connection. Then we need an integration token. So for that, I'm going to click this hyperlink, security and apps, scroll all the way down to the bottom and click integration tokens, then create a new token. I'm gonna to call it longer articles, click get token, and then let's find it here, copy this token, and then paste it in. Then we can click connect. And if everything is good, you're gonna get this pop-up that says your medium.com profile has been connected. We can click OK. It will take me back to the connections page and scrolling down, we can see my newest connection. It's a medium.com connection. This is when it was integrated. We can rename it or remove it altogether. Next, we need some API keys. So I'm gonna click on this tab. And we currently connect with multiple large language models and image generators. So we have OpenAI, Gemini, Claude, Stable Diffusion 3. You can connect an OpenAI assistant that you have created within their dashboard. And also Perplexity AI. Some of the AI agents scrape the web. And this API is used to do that. My two favorite, the ones that I've tested the most with, and you get the best results for the cheapest price, is OpenAI specifically GPT-4 Omni and Stable Diffusion 3. So for OpenAI, we're gonna click on this hyperlink. It will take me to platform.openai.com slash API keys. You are going to create a new secret key, click create secret key, copy this key, and then paste it into the input box here. If this is your first time opening a developer's account on OpenAI, that is the company that makes ChatGPT but we are using their backend API for developers. You're gonna click on settings and then billing. You need to add a valid payment method and then add credits to the account. It is a pay as you go credit system, not a subscription. And you can also enable auto recharge so that if your credit balance is ever running low, it will charge your credit card and add more tokens to the account. Now we can use Dolly 3 as our image generator for the articles, but it is a lot cheaper with similar quality to use Stable Diffusion 3. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. It will take me to beta.dreamstudio.ai. And again, you need to add a valid payment method and purchase some credits. So for $10, you get around 1000 credits, which is equal to roughly 5000 images. The longest articles that you can produce with your AI agent will use five different images. So 5,000 divided by five, for $10 you get 1,000 articles. I think that price is pretty outstanding. So then on API keys, click the plus button, confirm, copy one of those newest keys, click confirm again, and then paste it into the input box here. Next, you're gonna click on subscription and then subscribe. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AI agent is $9 per month, and that includes unlimited workflows, unlimited connections, unlimited agents. If you're an agency, you can hook up all of your clients under one account, run it indefinitely. I'm trying to make this the cheapest AI agent platform on the web. 
All right, with all of that done, you can now start your AI agent. You can pause the video now. If any of these other agents interest you, I also have videos on this YouTube channel about each of them. But for this video, we are going to write the long articles with auto blogging. So I'm going to click on this agent. This page got a new update. So let's walk through everything with setting up your AI agent. First, you need to select your connection and by default, your latest connection is selected. That was my medium one. Now we can read the agent information. It says create hundreds of SEO optimized blog posts at once in just a few simple steps. Input your desired keywords or article titles separated by a comma, then click generate posts. Each article takes 60 seconds to write and will produce at your chosen interval. All metadata and images are generated automatically. Let's click read more. And we have a few tips and tricks. I find that text model GPT-4 Omni works best. Shorter agent and image prompts will produce the best results. I'm going to talk about that in a future video. I will show you everything that's going on in the back end. We handle proper formatting in the background. No need to include this in the prompt. That will help make your agent prompts much shorter. Your agent will create an outline based on the chosen article length and images are placed at strategic points throughout the article. Longer articles equal more images. Let's collapse this. Okay, we need to choose a text model. So these are all the models we have available and they will show if you have the API keys in your account. I'm gonna choose GPT-4 Omni. For the image model, I'm going to select Stable Diffusion 3. For the language output, I'm going to write English. You could write something like English UK if you're concerned about locational grammar. Let's just keep it at English. For the posting time, I want it to post every 12 hours. Selecting random will randomly select a time between one and 24 hours and then make the post. You can keep this toggled if you wanna publish your articles right away. Uncheck it if you want it sent to draft, but let's keep it published. Next, we need to choose the article length. I'm gonna drag this all the way to the end. The longest article I generated in testing was 4,300 words. So you're gonna get anything between 3,700 and 4,300 words if you choose extra long. I've been thinking about writing how many words you might get with each of these selections. I still need to run through some testing to see that entire range. So for now, I don't show it. But if you want the longest articles, slide this right to the top. Now for the agent and image prompts, remember in the tips and tricks, it wants it short. So I'm gonna write be witty, be very funny. So we're gonna get a humorous article. And for the image prompt, I'm gonna write digital illustration. That's the style of image that I want. If you wanted more real looking images, you could write something like photorealistic or a camera type. Now we have the option to input some keywords or some article titles. So let's say I have a list of 50 article titles that I have crafted myself. I could paste them all in here, separated by a comma, and write an article automatically for each of them at your chosen interval. But if I wanna target specific keywords, I can check the keyword toggle and write something like Norse mythology, hit enter. Let's go Egyptian mythology, and then how about ancient Greek mythology. So that's three keywords. It will generate an article for each of those keywords every 12 hours. Next, we have section links. So this is an update from the previous link URL and link text. So now instead of just putting a hyperlink at the end of your article, it will put a link at the end of each section. And with the longer articles, the more sections of the article you will have, the more links that will be placed within it. So you can use this for external linking, internal linking, affiliate links. And when people land on the page to read your articles, they will see your section links. This is an example of a section link. At the end of this article section, there's a hyperlink that says read about mythology. And if you click on that link, it will go to your chosen URL. For example, for the link URL, I type in youraiagent.com. And for the link text, I'd write the best AI agents on the net. Now there's the hyperlink section. 
This is very similar to section links, except that it hyperlinks text within your articles. So this uses a find and replace. And the example I have here is, if I write AI agents and link it to youraiagent.com, I can click add. Every time AI agents appears in the text, it will hyperlink it to a different page. Going back to that previous example, here I wrote Greek mythology and I wanted that text to be hyperlinked throughout the article and you can see it's hyperlinked there, there, and there. This feature is no longer case sensitive, which means it will find AI agents with those capital letters and also AI agents all in lowercase. So you only have to type the word once. Now there's usually one more section at the bottom, but Medium does not have that option for categories and tags. So if I choose something like WordPress, it's going to open up that section. And what it does is search your website, if it's wordpress.org, for all of the categories and tags that you have created. And if you click on this input box, you can select all the ones that you like. And it does the same for tags, but I am using Medium, so we don't have that option. Okay, now I can click Generate Posts. It will take you to the Workflows page, where you can see the type of AI agent. This is the autoblogger. Your interval, which is every 12 hours. You can cancel this workflow at any time, or you can edit it by clicking this info button. And editing a workflow is very simple. You can change anything at any point, change your agent prompt, the image prompt, see your previous keywords, copy that list of keywords for a new workflow. You can change your section links, add or remove new hyperlinks, see your upcoming post. After this one, it's going to post at 12.07 a.m. See if there are any error logs. If your workflow has broke, you can see what is going on and at which step. And after the article is generated, for some integrations, we're able to offer a link. So I can click on this link. It will take you to the article on medium.com. And let's take a look at this. First, I love the image. Look at how long this article is. There's another image in another section. There's another one. And we keep scrolling. We keep scrolling. Look at how long this article is. It keeps going. Section four, section five, and the conclusion. And then we can see in our published section, Medium considers it a 16 minute read. I'm actually going to copy all of the text to see how many words it produced. There we go. Copy paste it into a word counter, and we get 3,934 words. This other article I produced was 4,100 words. This one was 3,800 words. And this one actually got up to 4,344 words in 18 minute read. If you want to try this auto blogging AI agent for yourself, I have left a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to build an auto blogger for your own company or for your own use case, I have built and designed an online course called how to build a custom AI app. Come check it out. It will teach you all you need to know about building in bubble. There will be a link to that in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.